Okay, so this question says the equation 24x squared plus 25x minus 47 divided by ax minus 2 is equal to negative 8x minus 3 minus 53 over ax minus 2 is true for all values of x does not equal to a, where a is a constant. What is the value of a? So I like these questions because um, realistically, it's all about understanding this equal sign in the middle. So if it is true that 24x squared plus 25x minus 47 all over ax minus 2 is equal to negative 8x minus 3, and I'm going to say over 1 to make everything a fraction here, minus 53 over ax minus 2, well, there's some simplifying that I can do here to try to make these two sides, right, the left side and the right side of the equal sign, to make them look equivalent. So how would I do that? Well, first of all, on the left side, I have a single fraction. On the right side, I have two separate fractions. So I'm going to combine the two fractions on the right-hand side. So how would I do that? Well, I need to have a common denominator. So that means that my negative 8 x minus 3 over 1 needs to be multiplied by ax minus 2 over ax minus 2. And then I'd have my minus 53 over ax minus 2, right? ax minus 2 is the common denominator for the right-hand side or the lowest common denominator. So that means that my numerator here would become, and I'll just write it this way, negative 8x minus 3 parentheses, ax minus 2, and all that's over, ax minus 2 minus 53 over ax minus 2. Now, since I have a common denominator, I can combine the two fractions together so that now I have negative 8x minus 3, ax minus 2 minus 53, all over ax minus 2. Again, that's going to be equal to my 24x squared plus 25x minus 47 all over ax minus 2. All right, well, now that I have the same denominator on both sides of the equal sign, right, and now I have a single fraction, well, if they're truly equal, then we should have a match for the numerator and the denominator. Well, I have ax minus 2 on both denominator. So that's that's taken care of. Those are already matched. They're already equal. So what I really need to do is figure out, well, how do I make the numerators equal to each other? So I'm going to go over here to this side of the board and say, well, how do I get 24x squared plus 25x minus 47 to equal negative 8x minus 3 times ax minus 2. Well, I need to simplify the right-hand side. So I'm going to do FOIL here. So multiply first time first. I get negative 8ax squared. And then multiply the two outers. I get positive 16x. Multiply the two inner terms. I get a negative 3ax. And multiply the two last terms. I get a positive 6. And again, that's all equal to my... 24x squared plus 25x minus 47. So now I have some more matching to do. So if these are the only two terms that say x squared, and again, it's all based upon the fact that they must be equal to each other, that tells me that negative 8a must be equal to 24. Now hopefully that makes sense. Again, there aren't any other x squared terms here. There aren't any other x squared terms here. And since they must be equal to each other, right? Again, the key being this equal sign in the middle. This negative 8a must be 24. If that's the case, right, which it is, I divide by negative 8. And a must equal negative 3. And therefore, my answer is choice B.